All right, well, actually, I just had removed the ring, which is right here. We now have it. Like I said, it's the small little ring that fits. Well, I'm sure we can do it better right here. It fits right around this, up in here. So, <clears throat> remove that, but don't lose it. They're hard to come by, especially if you don't have extras, because I just lost it, but I had to find it. <coughs> and then all we're going to have to do is there's an actual hole right here in the frame. And then that you can get a punch. And the punch will reach all the way through to the other side over here. If you can see that. <coughs> and we have to knock that out. That's all it is. is just a pin that holds up the whole assembly. Just go ahead and knock that out. And carefully, you don't want to lose that flat washer. That's in there also. <clears throat> and then I'll show you. <clears throat> this right here is a shotgun. <clears throat> you want to make sure before you do all this that you have this fully popped back and you have it removed from here <clears throat> with your X washers taken out and all that. <clears throat> but this was the problem that we had. This whole bearing right here is totally, totally eaten up. <clears throat> Along with this cam too. You can see all the metal burr in it and all that. It's not very pretty. It's uh Yeah. You should it should never look like that. <clears throat> so yeah, and actually you can see where it's got chewed up pretty well. <clears throat> but once you release that pin down down there in the bottom <clears throat> this whole entire assembly right here will lift out so <clears throat> if you have any questions always uh rate comment and subscribe <clears throat>